Hey everybody, this is a video I'm going to be putting both my personal channel and in the collab channel because I uh, want to share a find that I've uh, I've come upon and well as get some opinions here on some of the local news that's popped up. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have been on the hunt for purple lipstick for some time now. Something that I didn't have to go out and spend $14, $15 for at MAC. As much as I love the colors they have, as much as everybody raves about how wonderful they are, $14 is a little steep for me. So I have been looking everywhere. I went to Walgreens, Walmart, Target, uh, Shopco, I went to Rite Aid, Sally's Beauty Supply, I went everywhere. Couldn't find it anywhere. Well, today, I was at Target shopping for an anniversary present for my husband because I forgot and um, just happened to wander down the cosmetics aisle and I came upon Revlon's newest lipstick line. They came out with the new colors for fall and I was absolutely ecstatic to find that one of the new colors is called Vava Violet, which I'm currently wearing. It was like six dollars five forty nine I think I don't remember exactly but it was less it wasn't very expensive and so I have it here it looks much darker in the stick than it does on the lips obviously but that is isn't that sexy and um, for those who can't tell I love the color purple and um, I don't know if any of you guys watch makeup by Risa but she's been doing some purple lips and I tried some of the colors she was doing with uh, a lip liner that I have here this is um, NYC Vampy Violet, but it's a much lighter purple than this. This is, it's almost like a, here, kind of see it's a, oh, I am so freakishly pale. It's a much lighter bluer violet and it was not looking good on me. It looks great on her, and regardless of the fact that we are both redheads, pale skin, and blue eyed, it looked much better on her than it did on me. So, um, we are, uh, <clears throat> we, uh -huh. so I wanted to share, for those of you who are interested and were, you know, can't afford to go out and buy, you know, Mac or Lancome or whatever, Revlon, the drugstore brand, Revlon, lipstick, purple, vampy, no, vava violet, va -va so yeah, and I think it looks pretty good on, let me know what you guys think of that. For the second part of my video, I wanted to address some local news that has been uh, all over my Twitter. I actually um, follow one of my local news stations and one of our newspapers, and they have been tweeting all afternoon about some breaking news, some interesting breaking news that I'd love to hear y'all's opinion on. Um, the local, one of the local county fairs is going on right now over in Spokane, in Washington, about 20 minutes from me, and there's a... Uh, a mental hospital, the Eastern Washington Hospital, which um, apparently decided to take some of their patients on a field trip to the fair. And a criminally insane convicted murderer was part of this group and he wandered off. And uh, so now there is a criminally insane convicted murderer just meandering around the fair and nobody knows where he is. They have deputies looking everywhere for him. This man has been, he slit the throat of an old woman, slashed her throat because the voices in his head told him that she was a witch. He has been known to escape custody many times and assault people when he did, being ship deputies or anybody else who happens to get in the way. And um, now it looks like a breaking news here says that uh, according to KXLY News, Sheriff's Office upset with Eastern State Hospital. Paul may have, the, the, the gentleman, Paul may have wandered off as early as 11.30, but wasn't reported missing until 1.15. I would love to know what y'all think about that. So down here in the comments, let me know your opinion on that, how you feel, you know, about, about hospitals allowing, you know, mentally sick, com criminally ill, convicted murderers go to the fair. In my opinion, I think this is criminally negligent, and somebody obviously is not doing their job correctly. The fact that we have to address this question at all means somebody is not doing their job correctly. So, um, I would love to hear your opinion. 
let me know what you think. Like I said, down in the comments, put your uh, two cents worth, and I will see y'all around. So it has been uh, all over.